tear my head apart If I get so deep on life that it take away the day You are freestyling five and I'm out before it rain I will kill cause it's always what I do Hi I'm Sam, welcome to my channel Today we're going to be looking around service families accommodation or as it's known married quarters or the pad estate and today we're going to start off with the living room so within the living room what you will get as standard is curtains these ones here these ones are fairly new and if you look at the carpets now, what, what you will see is that the carpets are fairly worn. So what happened is, if you're lucky, you will get new carpets on the move-in. Now, when you look at the living room, it is a good size. It's not a bad size at all. So you can fit in here a good three-piece suite for sure, just along, say, the back wall here. And then what you'll also can do from there is potentially have a television up against that wall. And as you can see here, this one is already fitted for Sky. So now what we're going to do is move into the kitchen. So walking through to the kitchen now, but as you can see in the small hallway that we have here, there is some evidence of water damage, so that would have been changed before a new family would move in here. But the chances are all the carpets are going to be changed anyway, so that shouldn't be a real issue. So let's move into the kitchen. So as you can see with the kitchen, it's pretty old, probably from the looks of things, the 1800s, but it is fitted with an oven. So all kitchens will come with an oven as standard in married quarters. What they will not come with is a washing machine or a dryer or a dishwasher, but there will be plumbing already installed for you to fit them within the kitchen. But like I said, this will probably have a new kitchen anyway because it is the real old style kitchen. Tell you straight, the more you got to work, then the more you work to make. That's part one, part two, I tell you straight It's the more you eat and make, the more you sleep and never wake On the road to grass is greener, gotta think about those breaks Cause I know from first hand it's hiding bitches, rats and snakes Life is getting on top and I wanna make it stop Seems the only choice I got, get away And you were feeling on top and that bubble got popped Now the feeling that you got is get away So when the good times drop, never overthink a lot If there's bubbly to pop, let it spray It's one life, one shot, take a look at what you got at the way Right, here we are in the garden, virtually all Maybe family's accommodation will come with a garden, so much bigger than others, luckily mine was quite small, so I didn't have to mow it for too much time. Okay, now we are going to move upstairs, this is a three bedroom house with an upstairs bathroom and two storage areas. Okay, so starting off with the bathroom, the floor, that's really old, it's the linoleum like in the kitchen, bath, sink and toilet. Now this bathroom, as you'll see in a second, is quite old, therefore this will be renewed as well. Too much minor shit escalating into high stakes Life is cheap, all I wanted was some rice cakes Loud that shit, one L, one side of drum Playing a buggy bass version of cyberpunk The world is cold, kid, I'm going off grid I'm not made for playing roles, kid, I'm going off script Don't tell me when I'm right, don't tell me Okay, now we've moved into bedroom number two The second biggest bedroom Once again, the carpet will need changing the beige velvety curtains, which will be standard throughout the house. Most houses that you move into will have the same curtains throughout. Obviously, you can change those should you want to, but on March out, when you leave, you have to put the ones back that came with the house. And also, within this bedroom, you will have a small storage area here. So this is one side with a raised plinth, and then the other side as well, you can hang the rest of your clothes. Okay, so moving on from bedroom two, we'll have a look at where you're gonna store your towels. And in here, we've got the immersion heater 
and also your gas central heating unit as well. Okay, right, bedroom number three, usually where the youngest child goes, obviously. Same again, carpet exactly the same throughout, same curtains and another smaller kind of storage area that you'll have there for the clothes. Okay, and now we move into bedroom number one, the master bedroom, obviously, where all of the magic happens. Once again, same curtains, exactly the same carpet, and slightly larger storage unit, exactly the same raised plinth there. And moving over to the other side, once again, the same hanging rail. Right, so this is the last closet that I'm going to come out of upstairs. And once again, this is generally where the bigger closet upstairs is going to have most of your military equipment in. I, what we generally did is my wife had the wardrobe in the bedroom and I had the closet to put all my things in uh, upstairs. Right, so we are back downstairs now. And downstairs, as you saw when I was coming through the entryway earlier in the video, we've got two more storage areas here and also a downstairs toilet just there, which will also be getting renewed because that's pretty old as well. What's up, Scally? Grilling dick canary, that's a teenage thing. That was me, actually. Funny shit. Keep it deal, or I don't need no paparazzi. Cause I'm prone to use my headlights to dine on my arazzi. I'm more mellow than your Fabio Capello. A little bougie, they a girl to play the cello. I spy the world like it's no drama. Take it too seriously, and you're part of the drama. So get your armor if you're afraid of a summer. Get your KKK hoodie if you're afraid of a bomb. But if you want the perfect armor, I got musical Nirvana to let your hair down and rub like Carlos Valderrama. Do days and night shifts, yeah. Life's a bitch, I try. Give that short shrift, cause life's a gift. Yo, I raps on a track just to rise and lift. I don't cling to no raps, I just float and drift. Time to break out the papers, inhale the vapors. It's no drama. Time to grind up the trees and blaze a few acres. It's no drama, time to break out the papers, inhale the vapors It's no drama, time to grind up the trees and blaze a few acres It's no drama Yo, hip hop, films, clips, keys and snares I'll be safe in the knowledge that there's no change here My mind roams when I'm tripping through time zones The rapper right lines, tight clothes like pine cones Cap hill boots, the pack till still proves that we're moving merch Flowing like we're human turf super nerds We're just indigenous dudes rhyming over didgeridoos My mind frame racked up in spy planes I'm sane to the point where I break like I say I'm just one slick dude that slipped through mum's misused tissue Like a chew, bald and broke Cheers God, I wish you'd shared the joke With a South Wales Buena Vista Up in the ante like a fuck that sister I bring relief like love so, how much is all this going to cost a soldier that moves into a soldier's married quarters? Well, it'll cost you around £250 a month to pay for the house and £150 a month for council tax. Now, that gets taken out of your wages and it's called charge in lieu of council tax, which is side locked. So, essentially, it'll cost you around £400 a month for this three bedroom house here. Now, if you want a garage, because this doesn't have a garage attached, then you're looking at an extra £30 a month. So £430 in total. You will have to pay electricity and gas yourself, but you will not be getting charged water rates. That will come out of your wages as part of the rent for your house included within the £250. Now, this is quite an old house that you saw here today. There are much newer ones, but they do cost a little bit more, anything up to an extra 100 and 150 pounds a month. But hopefully this video has been, has been of benefit to you. And if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I always try and get back to them all. Take care.